Welcome to the series of learning sessions with Universe Professional Training. My name is Sohail and I'll be talking about risk planning for IT infrastructure projects. This is first of the two lessons that I'll be talking on this subject. What is should be considered as a risk and especially for the infrastructure projects? As we know that all business critical applications may be financial, manufacturing application, online, large applications, they all reside on some kind of infrastructure. They are complex and they are large. We need to have a solid plan before starting a project and that plan should have uh, the probability of its uh, uh, risk occurring, uh, its impact and an owner of that, that risk. How to uh, build that plan we'll discuss during that lecture. Why do we need a risk plan? Um, why we cannot deal with a risk as it arises and uh, take care of, of uh, the associated issues surrounding that risk? Uh, not a good uh, way to uh, handle a project as if we do, do do the due diligence at this very onset uh, of a project uh, related to IT infrastructure or may it be an application deployment or maybe an upgrade to an ex uh, existing platform. Over the period of time, researchers have shown that a well-designed risk management plan has significantly reduced the problems that may be uh, faced or encountered during the project, maybe in, in the middle or early stages or later in the project. So it's whatever methodology we use, uh, may it be PRINCE or um, uh, Waterfall or PMI, they all talk about and recommend and strongly um, uh, profess the need for having a solid and uh, well worked out um, risk management plan. Sooner we do it, better it is. During the early stages, if we form a team and uh, discuss the possible risk and work out the, uh, the, the, um, you know, method, or the method to deal with them and build a mitigation plan, that will help us uh, to prepare ourselves for that risk to occur. Businesses are very appreciative of uh, this uh, pr um, the technique and they emphasize on having a risk plan at the very onset of the project. Now, uh, in, with regards to IT infrastructure, let's quickly talk about the typical risk in any IT projects. At the top of the list, I would say the legacy platforms or unsupportable or end-of-life hardware and software, uh, they, they pose issues when we are running a project and they, that uh, risk or the set of risks should be noted and discussed at the, um, as part of the risk plan. Again, the, since the structure infrastructure is old and the, uh, the new application and the, um, they are unaware of the security risk associated with them, uh, they are vulnerable. Uh, so we need to have a detailed discussion and really focus on the security gaps related to those set of platforms. It, I'm not necessarily saying that the new platforms do not pose security gaps. Security is definitely an important factor that uh, takes uh, a space in the, in the risk plan. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is the incompatibilities within the platforms or the type of hardware and software. Um, we don't want to get surprised because of the incompatibilities or inconsistencies. Uh, those need to be discussed and registered and uh, when uh, we are getting mm, the or building the plan, the building the project plan, they should form part of uh, uh, our planning. The next uh, thing is about the resources. In uh, many of the um, organizations, the resources, they are um, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes they are not uh, technically uh, trained for that particular application or they are uh, focused on a typical scenario that they had encountered or experienced in past uh, projects. Um, we need to uh, 
take those people out of their mindset and uh, if if there are any issues related to those those should be um, registered in in the risk risk plan or if there are any gaps uh, related to the availability of uh, optimal uh, skill set those uh, should form part of the risk plan project team at times are not aware of the organization policies and processes um, if, if there is a lack of understanding uh, that may pose a risk too much or too little or irrelevant documentation we all come across this issue um, it sh should be should be considered thoroughly innovations in technology are exploring uh, exploding every single day we come across a new gadget or a device like iPhone or iPad or uh, blackberries and, and uh, you know Windows new applications multimedia and you know you you name them and they are um, they are, we, we come across the new technologies um, uh, every single day they are both opportunities as well as threats for the project but in in, uh, in reality they are uh, considered as positive or negative risk for the projects they should form part of the plan project creep is another issue the requirements keep changing all requirements uh, if they are not captured at the early stage of the of the project they may uh, likely to add cost and cost time and quality um, degradation if we do not uh, do due diligence at the uh, early stages of the project and uh, lastly I would say the market conditions uh, need to be kept in view as well with regards to availability of hardware software and resource skill sets this was just um, a brief overview of what the typical uh, risk could be in the next le lesson or the next tutorial I'll be talking about uh, best way to uh, write a, a comprehensive risk management plan and um, how we can track them how we can assign the the probability of that risk occurring rate them and track them thank you for listening to this uh, uh, lesson and stay tuned for the second session of the same series bye for now